Our potential is excellent, but we've been trained and tamed like a circus elephant, and so we live half lives like a decaying element. <clears throat> Our potential is excellent, but we've been trained and tamed like a circus elephant, and so we live half lives like a decaying element. So this video is called Four Ways to Be Vibrantly Alive. And my name is Phil Osophical, and right now I feel vibrantly alive because I have actually just combined all four of these things that I am going to list here. And I feel like so many people in our current society are, are living these half lives where they're doing things that they don't care about and they're just barely making it. People are walking around feeling lethargic, feeling tired, feeling hopeless, feeling depressed. And we're just these half lives, living these half lives where we don't feel vibrantly alive like the rest of the natural world that is just teeming with life and energy and somehow us modern humans we think we have all these modern amenities where when so many of us are just feeling like crap and we're just feeling like crap <laughs> So these are four ways that we can break out of these cycles and out of these patterns that just keep us bored and going through the motions. And so the first one is taking an icy cold shower. I know it sounds crazy, but just turning on icy cold water and just jumping in the shower and just washing your whole body down. I mean, you could only stay in there for one minute but it, it shocks you into the present moment and it, it, it shocks you out of these, these mental patterns that are so easy to get stuck in and uh, it just catapults you into the present moment. And I just took an icy cold shower as I have been doing a lot recently and it's just, it feels so amazing and it, and it livens you up, it's, it makes you come alive. Um, and another thing is intense exercise. Now I'm not talking about like going and just breaking a sweat. I'm talking about intense freaking exercise. Like pushing your body to the ultimate limit. And once again, that puts you into the present moment. And there's many ways to do this. I think it helps to have a partner who can push you past your your limitations because I ran track in high school and I realized that the mind the mental advisors these little voices in our head tell us that we need to stop like 15 years before our bodies can 15 years before our bodies can actually go so I would be running track and on the second lap, I would get these voices like, oh my God, you need to slow down. Like you're pushing it too hard. And then I'll just be like, shut the hell up and just keep running. And then 20 seconds later, the voices come back. They're like, oh, you're getting tired, man. You need to slow down. I'm just like, shut the hell up. We're, we're still going. And it, I mean, it helped because I was in this environment which supported pushing my own boundaries, but Life begins at the edge of your comfort zone, as I like to say. So anywho, the second one is intense exercise. The first one is an icy cold shower. The third one is finding music that really inspires you and just listening to that music. I mean, listening to it in and of itself is awesome, but listening to it at very high volumes <laughs> is even better. So. I'll post some, some links to some of my favorite music to just totally put me into the present moment. And uh, Florence and the Machine is recently some of the music I've really been loving. I'll post some links to, to her music, to that band's music 
but there's so many amazing artists out there. I highly recommend just checking out Pandora Radio, learning new artists, because there's so much inspiring music out there that can make us come alive, and then we can spread that aliveness to other people, and we'll wake up the whole planet out of this freaking ridiculous state that it's in. All we need to do is just wake up and come alive and realize how beautiful life is. It's so simple, but somehow we're in a very confused state, this uh, human race to a large degree. Uh, we really just need to wake up. Anywho, the fourth one is, um, is instead of listening to other music, singing music yourself, coming up with mantras or things that you can just repeat to yourself or sing out loud because those keep you in the present moment, which is the only moment that ever exists. As you probably have noticed, all four of these things put you deeply and intensely into the present moment because that is how we come alive we enter the present moment so <clears throat> I have a lot of mantras and songs that I just like to sing whenever the mental advisors start telling me silly things I just start singing one of these mantras and it puts me right back on track so let's see some of my favorite ones um, and it helps to have friends who enjoy doing this as well me and my friend Ananda, who you've seen in the other videos, we often just sing these silly but amazingly powerful songs to each other. So one is, One step at a time, coalesce and combine, everything is happening right on time. One step at a time, coalesce and combine, everything is happening right on time. <laughs> My voice is kind of weird right now, but anywho, there's a million different mantras. I highly recommend creating your own. It's really fun to do that. So to summarize and to synergize, first one I highly recommend taking an icy cold shower the second one do some intense exercise do some hot yoga do a plank you do just run up a mountain as fast as you can ride your bike really fast do something that makes you feel intensely alive third one is find inspiring music play that music as loud as you can share it with other people jam out to friends dance in the middle of the street just come alive the fourth one is come up with your own mantras and songs and sing them all the time every time as soon as you wake up while you're going to sleep while you're driving to work just sing the mantras out loud I guarantee you it will work because our potential is excellent but we've been trained and tamed like a circus elephant and so we live half lives like a decaying element. So once again, my name is Philosophical. Thank you for watching. I would love any feedback or support or ideas or video responses. I'm just trying to do my little peaceful puzzle piece. We all have a peaceful puzzle piece to add in this amazing time that we are alive in. And I'm working on this website called The Pioneers of Reconnection. And I would love any support that you want to give to that. Um, it's basically going to be an epicenter of all these different things that are happening. The Evolver movement, the Transition Town movement, the Occupy movement, which is blasting off like crazy right now all these things are happening life is awesome you are awesome come fully alive nature is awesome everything is nature get excited holy cannoli I'm just shouting at the camera now <laughs> peace and love thank you